It's a beautiful sunny afternoon. It's rained some today. It's really, really just fresh feeling out here. The garden's looking great. Look how tall our corn is back there. Everything's growing beautifully. We need to drill us up our beans here. Um, and what we're gonna do right now is tie up our tomatoes. They're growing just every day, growing so much. Some of them are starting to flop over, so I'm gonna cut some of the branches back and tie them up to these poles again. Here's our giant volunteer squash plant, and I want to show y'all something. What kind of squash do you think this is? It's a really weird squash. I think this squash plant is actually the answer of what happens when you let a bunch of varieties of squash or pumpkin cross, and then you grow the seed out. I think this is probably a cross between uh, a butternut squash and a pumpkin, is my guess. Anyway, we're gonna let them grow out. We'll pick them, we'll try to cook them, fresh and we'll see how they are. Having this place and having this garden, it's really a dream come true for us in many ways. And this is just one example of how this is a dream come true. We have three big sunflower patches. There's one right here and it goes all the way from here, all the way down, all the way down to that end of the garden down there and up around the corner. These are actually black oil sunflowers we were feeding our goats um, black oil sunflowers while we were milking them and I had about probably five pounds in the bag and I scattered them in three areas and just raked them in and a lot of them came up. So this specifically for Brianna is a dream come true to have as many sunflowers as she wants to pick and put in the house and then have for seeds, for little bird feeders you can hang in the trees. This really makes us very happy. Joyful is very interested in knowing what the potatoes look like underground. Now I know this might not be ideal for production. I know they're not totally ready to harvest, but I think there's actually a more important principle here than productivity, and that is peaking interest in one of my kids in gardening and also just letting her participate. She's so, so eager to see these potatoes. So we're gonna go down to the very end of a row and we're gonna dig up just one plant Probably a small sacrifice, but I think it's also just an investment in her interest. The goats are out in the pasture. I don't know if you can see, but if you look way out there in the back pasture beyond, there's actually a doe right there in the middle of the screen. You can see it wagging its tail. A doe, deer, not a goat. They got this one, not this one. They got this one right here. I ended up this one. That too far away. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Put the shovel away. Use your hands, George. Right?
Wow. There's a little one. Okay. Grab that one. Pick it off. Whoa. Okay. Look how little that one is. I see, I see. Look at this tomato. They're potatoes. Here's one. Look, look, look what I found a poor little roly poly. It's, it's a grub, not a roly poly. Oh, should we kill it? Oh, good one! We can eat this one! <laughs> that's the seed potato deer. <laughs> yeah, that's the rotten one. It's not rotten. Oh, it's Alright, I think that's all. So what did we learn, Grace and Joyful, digging up these potatoes to wait longer? So did we get any good potatoes to eat? But did we have fun digging it up? Did we see that there's just tiny potatoes right now? Yep. Keep the dirt in the garden, buddy. Because it's the most delicious kind of pie in the world. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Yeah. What is the most delicious kind of pie in the world? It's none. It's a real kind of pie. Just a real pie is the most delicious? Yeah, I guess it can mud mud. Mud. Can you go ahead and cut this branch right here? Cut this big one off right here. Careful, they're pretty sharp. Good job. All the way, cut it, get it from right down there. And hold your clippers up and down. There you go, you got it. All right, now. Why do you think there's flowers on the tomato plant? Um, um, yeah, every fruit in the whole world comes from a flower. Yeah. Those plants look a lot less full. I've cut a lot off of them. And we will see how it goes in the battle against blight. Mm -hmm.